This preview brought to you by Harness Racing Victoria. Terrific Hunter Cup uh, meeting at Tabcorp Park, Melton, and uh, it, with the ten races on the card, not only the three star-studded races, the Derby, the Australasian Trotters Championship final, and the Hunter Cup, but uh, a backup card, unbelievable. Uh, race one on the card, the Country Clubs Championship final, showcasing some horses that are going to be racing on Friday nights at Melton quite consistently in future times, and none more so than number four, I'm Causing Terror, who I think is one of the better bets on the card. Uh, Shepherd and winner last time of its heat of this race absolutely brained them at the, in the home straight. It wins for mine. Uh, five, All I Can Be, a nice horse, back to its absolute best after a bit of a lull, winning the Cranbourne heat and finishing off in a very fast 56.3, low flying on that track. For third, number 12, uh, Metro Mike, who was terrific winning uh, its third race on end when it won the Ballarat heat of this race, but the only problem here is it does go to the uh, nearly the outside of the second line, but in with a good chance for Emma Stewart and 10 Qatari rolling for Jeffrey Webster, whose team's on fire at the moment, is also a very consistent animal. 4, 5, 12 and 10 in the first. Race 2 on the program, the Vic Bread Platinum Trotting Mares Sprint. Our championship final, Heats of this, this has been run in provincial areas uh, over the last few weeks and uh, we're going with number nine here, Waikari Patricia. She's now a four-year-old. She had a fairly slow start to her season but now she's really starting to fire. This mare's won five of her 13 starts and her last two, Maryborough and in the Shepherd and Heat of this race last time where she worked around, found the lead and that was the end of the Pendy section. Uh, second line this time but behind a fast beginner in, uh, in, fast, in Apollo Rita actually I think it is now. But uh, nine on top to beat number... 10, Gatesy's girl, always had loads of talent, used to make a lot of mistakes, recently she's become very solid in the way she trots, she's trotted well in her last couple, Bendigo winner of this heat, two starts back beating Marita Louise OK, second at Warrigal last on where I think Zedelite might have taken uh, driver Gavin Lang by surprise the way it kicked on strongly in the home straight, would have won in one more stride, uh, Gatesy's girl, for third number 12, Atigo Lily, very tough mare, keeps winning and uh, can win this one again, and uh, fourth pick number three, Apollo Rita the emergency getting a run, plenty of speed I dare say it was going to win its heat last time that Atigo Lily did finally win when it found the lead at uh, Ballarat and made a, an untimely mistake in the home straight 9, 10, 12 and 3 in race 2 Race 3 on the program, the Melton Trotters Cup a group 3 race and uh, although um, he's uh, not going to be in the market number 8, Sundon's Gift, we see a return of this guy who is now an 11 year old and hasn't raced for uh, 12 months, probably 12 months to the date actually I don't think he can figure first up. He's been to the trials, but I think whatever he does, he'll improve on uh, after being retired and coming back. Five, I didn't do it. Very hard to beat. He'll be straight in front here. Uh, he was beaten by My Escapee in the Maori Mile at Bendigo a couple of starts back, but My Escapee did finish very strongly from last on the home turn after I didn't do it, got softened up. Depends on how much work he does in front. My Escapee, a very good mare from New Zealand, who made a mistake in her next run at Shepparton from the Mobile, this time out of the draw. She should go away this time. Six, my high expectations going through the classes very strongly and in uh, fixed odds, early fixed odds look very big value. It's number six, my high expectations to cause an upset. And number one, Monsieur Deville's got a chance too. He's a horse who's on the improve. Five, seven, six and one in race three. Race four, the uh, Don KRC free-for-all and uh, we're tipping here number six, Smolder, the, uh, the Kiwi. Uh, geez, he was impressive last week I know he didn't beat much last Saturday night here but the way he did it when he came from the extreme uh, draw over the sprint journey and was very tough at the finish makes me think he'll be a lot first of all a lot fitter for that his first run in three weeks and secondly coming to the front line here he'll be going forward and may possibly even find the lead if he finds the lead well he's just a threes on chance in the race second pick number 10 Mel Park Major how can you deny this fellow at this level he's been terrific all his season all his career and especially this season he's been uh, a renaissance horse he beat uh, and sat outside smoking up to beat the Horsham Cup uh, to win the Horsham Cup two starts back loves these short trips nine hour Arlington's absolutely flying no luck recently in tough trips in standing start races that didn't suit him back to the mobile here great chance at good odds too and two Mark Dennis ran a uh, bold race last week when only beaten a metre and a half by Smolder he's drawn to be in front again and uh, in early anyway and he'll be in front for a long way six ten nine and two in race four Race five on the program at Tabcourt Park. Uh, this is the Victoria Derby, the $200,000 race, and uh, there's a big batch of Kiwis 
uh, looking to win this race, but uh, I think the Australian guaranteed can beat them. He'd be fairly short odds to do so after the barrier draws came out. He's drawn barrier two, and he was terrific winning his heat of the derby last week. We'll have a look at the replay of this race where he was able to work his way to the front, didn't show a lot of early speed, but was able to work his way to the front and won as he liked. 28-8 for the third quarter. Guaranteed lead Caesar Augustus. Ginger Bliss is awaiting on the run in the garage sprint lane. Three points not going well. Good time stated to the outside. Guaranteed in front. Let five metres now. Alfred goes for home. Ginger Bliss sticks on well. And then Caesar Augustus, but Guaranteed sprints away. And Guaranteed wins easily. Ginger Bliss second. Caesar Augustus third. Fourth good time Slater. Yeah, comprehensive win. I think Caesar Augustus is probably the only other run, runner from that heat that's got a winning chance in the final, but he draws awkwardly. Uh, for second number six, a bit of a legend. Uh, he won the Breeders' Crown last season, and he was quite good when running second to Macca in uh, their heat, where Macca took the lead away uh, and then uh, handed up to a bit of a legend and ran him down. I think they both got very good chances. Six for second. For third number nine, a hoka punter, reputed to be the best three-year-old in New Zealand. He was more than adequate last week when uh, running uh, third to Macca in that race where he had to do plenty of work does trail out behind the early speed here and will be in a good position just off the pace and fourth pick number four Macca who was a, I guess a bit of a surprise last week to win so well, win as well as he did in beating the Kiwis uh, although he's an ex-Kiwi himself 3, 6, 9 and 4 in the uh, Victoria Derby final Race six on the card, the Australasian Trotting Championship final, a Group 1 race for $80,000. Tipping here, number seven, Dr Hook, the uh, Kiwi. Gee, he grades well, this bloke. Uh, he won uh, one of the two heats last week, Mr Zai on the other. Let's have a look at Dr Hook here. He looked a forlorn chance on the home turn when uh, he was struggling, but uh, outside Kazianov, but he knuckled down in the last 50 metres and showed what class is all about. Travelling well, it's Kazianov three metres in front. Dr Hook's in for the final. He's coming again. It's Kazianov, Dr. Hook, Kazianov, Dr. Hook. The doctor poked his head in front. It's a big win, Dr. Hook. Dr. Hook from Kazianov, Earl of Mott, Vulcan for... Yeah, terrific effort there, and he finished off in 57.7, uh, which is a really low flying for square gators. And I think he can beat Mr Zion, number six, the other heat winner. Mr Zion aiming, aiming to create history. He's already a Group 1 winner in the South Australian Pacers Cup over smoking up. And if he could win this Group 1 Trotters race, that'll never be equal, not in my lifetime anyway. Second pick number... Well, that doesn't uh, give you much leeway. Second pick uh, was number six, Mr Zion. Third pick, number 15, Vulcan. I think he's slowly been getting better since he came here. He's not the horse he was when he raced here last season, or hasn't so far been, but this could be his turnaround tonight. And fourth pick, number one, Earl of Mott. He ran a brave race last week, went third to Dr Hook. This time, if he happened to lead from barrier one, he'd be a chance of uh, winning at big odds. Seven, six, fifteen and one. Race seven on the program, the uh, Angelique Club Cup sees some of Australia's best mares fighting this race out. Uh, no more so than number four, Pembroke Caesar. She had a winning streak snapped uh, last week at Ballarat. She'd won seven of her seven starts in Australia before uh, coming from last on the turn to go under by a narrow margin of real hammer flying home at uh, Ballarat last week. I think she might be able to lead here, and that's where she does her best work. Five for second, Bella's Delight's been a standout three- and four-year-old over the last couple of seasons. No luck in recent races, hot races, the Bindi go cup and in a race at Menangle but this is back to her home turf here expect her to run a big race 10 Broadway's best been up there with our best mares all the way through she's now a 7 year old no make mine Cullens around anymore she is first up however from the outside of the second line did try well but she'll need a bit of luck from that draw and uh, they're, they're three good winning chances with one steam wash the upset material from the pole 4, 5, 10 and 1 in race 7 Big race on the program, the Delray National Food Group 1 AG Hunter Cup, and it's a ripper. Uh, five Marsiche won the uh, Ballarat Cup last week. What an amazing performance this was after running second to Sushi Sushi in a huge effort in the Bendigo Cup. He sat three wide outside them in the last lap here last week, and just when he looked like he might weaken, he just fought on so strongly. That's him three wide outside the leader on the home turn. Mark Alerti to the clear and decorated Jasper. Sushi Sushi in front of Marsish the outside. Sushi Sushi digs deep. Marsish the outside. Sushi Sushi just in front. Marsish lunch. I think he may have got him on the line. Maybe Marsisha knows the sushi sushi. Third mark of that smoke.
Yeah, possibly even better suited from the stand. This was been his mission all along, and this horse has grown a leg since coming from New Zealand. Mark Alert, you would have noticed there, running third in that race. That was a brave effort. He's a brilliant standing start horse too, and I think he's got a very good chance at odds in this race. I stuck him in for third. For second, well, you can't really go past Caribbean Blaster as being one of the major chances in this race. He's done, uh, to be, he's done nearly everything this season, including a Victoria Cup win, a great run when third in the Cranbourne Cup, and just out toughed by Smoking Up who led, and he's in the death in the South Australian Cup last time and he will be trained to perfection for this race. For fourth number eight, Bit of Bliss. Uh, very good vibe around for Bit of Bliss. I know it hasn't raced since uh, finishing down the track uh, last time in the Victoria Cup but he wasn't 100% in his last two runs. He's a very good horse and loves these stands. Two Kilmore Cups is testament to that and he's fourth pick in the race. A race of many chances. The Kiwi uh, four stars flashing him with a good chance as well. Five, 14, three and eight for mine. Race 9 on the card, we're going 6, 1, 4 and 7. Kiyang Cullen, he's a very smart 5-year-old. Uh, he's won uh, 15 of his 27 starts and uh, even though he draws a little bit awkward, I think he might be able to overcome them. One Wash Me Pockets is crying out for a win and uh, this really suits him. He's a mobile horse, he's been running in stands. Four Guns and Roses, monster run last week, went third to Smolder here. He's won it, well he, he was very big value early doors at fixed odds and he probably still is. He might be a bet in the race for the value and fourth pick number 7 because I can. 6, 1, 4 and 7 finishing off with eight, the Premier Stakes a couple of them uh, not too sure about how they line up against each other because they've been to different areas and they're lightly raced these two year olds going with number 1 Yankee Rockstar because of its pole line draw a, a very impressive debut victory at Ballarat at its uh, latest run its only run beating Adam Cartwright who goes to gate 7 here put in for second number 5 Heathburn Star ran on very strongly to win at Kilmore at its latest run 7 Adam Cartwright very good horse very tough horse only the 3 stars for a win in 2 places and fourth pick number six, Punchinello. But it's a very open race. I think every horse is a winning chance in that last with one clearly the top pick to beat five, seven and six. Best bet time. Uh, well, our best bets were guaranteed race five, number three, Dr Hook race six, number seven and Marsish uh, in race eight. The, uh, the, uh, there it is in the... Um, in the number five in the uh, Hunter Cup. So it's five, number three, six, number seven, eight, number five, the long shot. Race two, number six, Marita Louise, OK. It was somewhere in the tri cricket score odds earlier in the week. It shouldn't be. It's got a good each way chance. Quaddy for the meeting, three, six, nine, into six and seven, into four, five, ten, into three, four, five, eight, twelve and fourteen. There they are, three, six, nine, six and seven, four, five, ten, three, four, five, eight, twelve and fourteen. Ninety dollars gets you a hundred percent. Hopefully it's a big dividend. Remember, remember there is a big jackpot on the uh, big four in the uh, in the uh, Hunter Cup there. So it, uh, it's going to be a big night for harness racing, a big night punt wise, and there's plenty of money to be won. This preview brought to you by Harness Racing Victoria.